Joining us now from the State House is Congressman Rush Holt. Congressman, good to have you back on the program. You know, we. Mike, we, always good to be with you. We see photos of you and some of your uh, colleagues in the Democratic Party getting together like you did over this past weekend for events. And one is tempted to think, you know, when it comes to politics, there's not a great deal of difference amongst you. Is that a fair assessment or not? Well, you know, I have a very different background, um, having been the uh, helping to run the Princeton Plasma Physics Laboratory at Princeton University, having been on the international negotiating team on arms control across the table from the Soviet Union, uh, having uh, worked in the State Department on uh, 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 to deal with uh, weapons of mass destruction. Uh, you know, I, I'm a scientist, a teacher. Uh, a committed progressive. Uh, I'm the progressive in this race. You know, the the now, Senate could use. Saying that you're the, the most liberal candidate in the race. Is that is that correct? Well, I, as I say, I'm the progressive in this race, and the Senate could use, I'm sure, uh, some more teachers, could use some more scientists, and it certainly could use some more committed progressives. Uh, a number uh, of Congress, you know, a number of progressives have spoken out on behalf of of uh, Mr. Snowden, uh, the, uh, the former security. Uh, uh, official, not official, but an analyst who is uh, on the run right now. And uh, they've spoken in support of him. What do you think of what Mr. Snowden has done, and what do you think the U.S. government should do about it? Well, I served for a number of years on the Intelligence Committee. In fact, I chaired uh, the uh, Select Intelligence Oversight Panel, and I certainly can't condone uh, leaking uh, classified information, nor can I condone classifying information that should be out there for public, uh, for, for public debate. The president has said uh, we should have a good debate on this surveillance of Americans, spying on Americans without warrant. Uh, and we certainly should have that debate. And, uh, and there also should be better laws to protect whistleblowers so that the debates can take place. Should Mr. Snowden be prosecuted? Uh, so, uh, probably, probably. It's, um, but, uh, you know, I, back to the, uh, to the other matters, you know, I, um, I've never run into a burning building and I don't have a million Twitter followers, uh, but I, I do have, I think, quite a good reputation for um, cutting student loan interest rates to make college more affordable and accessible. I helped write that legislation. Uh, you know, I'm responsible for the $80 million appropriation to uh, to deal with the epidemic of suicides so, so uh, among you our have soldiers made clear, and veterans. You have made it clear you're running on your record. And, uh, and implicit in what you just said, yes. an allusion to Mayor Booker, is that he's all charisma and no record. Is that is that a correct assessment of what you just said? Well, you know, I think the election in, in August is going to be not about celebrity, um, but about the... Uh, the, the depth of support that people have for the for the person that they want to see in the Senate, and as I said, you know, it would be good to have somebody in the Senate who had uh, some uh, scientific expertise, uh, who would understand the implications of science and technology for our society. It would be good to have somebody in the Senate uh, who uh, would uh, once and for all close Guantanamo, who would see that we get. Uh, Medicare for all health care coverage. It would be good to have somebody in the Senate who would confirm judges and justices uh, who uh, uh, won't tolerate uh, government spying on uh, unwarranted but con uh, Congressman, surveillance it, it, of it, citizens. It does sound, Congressman, like you're saying that the head of your own party is, is guilty of, of making some of these bad decisions when it comes to the issues you just uh, spoke out about. Uh, you know, I, I, I'm an independent person, as you know, um, and I speak out on things that uh, are in the interest of uh, New Jerseyans. It's why so many people say that I'm the worthy successor to Frank Lautenberg, you know, who was an independent fighter, fighting for children's health and fighting for gun safety and fighting for, uh, you know, uh, uh, against uh, drunk driving. Um, you know, this is the seat that Frank Lautenberg vacated by his death. And I'm so pleased that so many people have said that uh, they'd like to see me carry on that fight. And I intend to. I, um, I, I uh, am in this to win. I intend to win. And uh, with the help of the people who have been with me so strongly uh, over the years, I intend to. 
Congressman. I'm the one who's battle tested, uh, you know, in elections, always running at, uh, better than the pollsters say, always running and confounding the uh, expectations and conventional wisdom. And Congressman, we have to leave it there. We'll continue our conversation, sir. Thank you for coming on the program. Thanks, Mike. Good to be with you.